Greetings, everyone. This is Matt Faiello, Technical Marketing Engineer with uh, Cisco Compute BU, and we're back with another Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series video. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about link control policy. It is a domain policy, which means it's part of the domain profile. It's a nested policy within the domain profile. And uh, as always, we're going to discuss uh, link control policy and unidirectional link detection, UDLD, in a few slides, and then go to a short demo. Okay, so let's talk about link control policy. It enables the unidirectional link detection, UDLD, protocol on a given uplink port or port channel. Uh, it's a layer two protocol, and uh, it's, it's basically checking for bidirectional communications, making sure we're not unidirectional, which is really not desired. Um, it works with both fiber optic uh, cable connections as well as twisted pair. Um, could maybe argue it's really important on the fiber optic because fiber optics can be damaged. Um, there's a chance that you could damage a fiber and uh, you are in fact uh, unidirectional. So we want to be able uh, to detect that and take action. Okay, we've already uh, pretty much covered the purpose of the policy, enabling uh, UDLD and uh, also setting the mode for UDLD. So, uh, you know, as far as where this uh, this policy is used, well, it's a nested policy, okay? So uh, it's, it's certainly within the domain profile, of course, um, but then when you go configure uh, Ethernet or fiber channel uh, over Ethernet uplink ports, okay, or port channels within the port policy, then you'll have access to this link control policy. And there's two modes. There's a normal mode and an aggressive mode. And uh, basically the normal mode <clears throat> is uh, if, if you violate the, uh, the test for UDLD, um, basically the, the port is marked as undetermined. Okay, whereas uh, if you go with the more aggressive mode, uh, there's an additional check <clears throat> um, to aggressive mode and uh, it tries to reestablish the state and if it cannot, then it will air disable the port. All right, so this slide uh, really kind of goes into the weeds uh, a bit. I'm not gonna brief the whole slide, um, but it's some extra information, it basically, uh, uh, goes into the three uh, main tests uh, that's part of the UDLD protocol, the unidirectional connectivity test, uh, the transmit receive loop test, and the neighbor mismatch uh, test. Um, I will say if you go with the aggressive mode, uh, there's one additional check, and that's uh, if you've already have bidirectional from a UDLP uh, enabled neighbor, you're receiving those packets. If those UDLD package should stop, then uh, the aggressive mode will basically put that link, judge that link as unidirectional and will error disable the port. Okay, so just, this is just for consumption. This is probably over the top for a lot of uh, UCS Fabric Interconnect uh, architectures. We're in in-host mode. Uh, as such, we are a big server uh, on the network with hundreds of, of NICs inside. Uh, we're not participating in spanning tree, uh, so that's why I say it's probably a little bit over the top, but it's a good understanding of what tests make up uh, the UDLD protocol. Okay, so as far as recommendations, uh, I really uh, suggest you get with your network administrator uh, because uh, how you configure this policy is going to be proportional to uh, your next hop, your, your higher layer switch that you're connecting with. Okay, so... Uh, uh, if, if they're doing UDLD on that switch, then you need to match, okay? So you'll have that turned on with the policy, and whether you're doing normal aggressive mode, you need to match uh, what's on the uplink switch there. So just know that you're going to use this on Ethernet uplinks, fiber channel over Ethernet uplinks, and also uh, the corresponding uh, port channels. So if you're port channeling your Ethernet uplinks, which is a best practice, or fiber channel over Ethernet port channels, uh, and so forth. As far as uh, the CLI uh, verification, okay, you can go into the uh, to the FI secure shell, go to NXOS, connect NXOS, okay, and then do show 
uh, UDLD neighbors. And another uh, verification step you can do is uh, go into the FI uh, NXOS menu and then uh, do a show UDLD uh, Ethernet dash whatever uh, port. You can also do this for the port channel, of course. Okay, last slide before we go to the demo. Um, as we do with all of our uh, Intersight Managed Mode uh, expert series videos, we like to kind of show graphically where everything is, how it fits together. Uh, so you have your domain profile on the left. Of course, that's consuming a one or more port policies, either one or two. Um, I like fabric specific. Um, and then when you go into configure your port roles, uh, either uplink ports or uplink port channels for Ethernet or fiber channel overneath over Ethernet, uh, you'll see that you have the link uh, control policy uh, available for selection. Okay, for a demo, we're now back in uh, Intersight here, and we're in infrastructure service at the top. And we go to policies and create a policy. Let's use our uh, UCS domain filter for domain policies. And we can see link control right here. Click start. Have to give it a unique name. Click next. And kind of a simple policy, only a couple settings, as we discussed with the slides. Uh, you enable uh, UDLD. That's actually enabled by default. And it's actually the normal setting is uh, default as well. So um, you would probably keep these settings here. Um, certainly um, consult your network administrator for the, um, the next top, uh, top of rack, end of row switch that your Fabric Interconnect is connecting to. Um, you certainly want to work that out. Um, but by and large, this is probably the, the majority of the settings uh, for most of the use cases. So go ahead and click Create. Okay, so that now completes our video for the link control policy. Uh, I hope you were able to learn something uh, new here. Um, please uh, check out our other Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series videos uh, for more instruction about Intersight and Intersight Managed Mode. Thank you.